Todd Leonard. Welcome, we're at sitting outside Orison Giggy, cooking on the Weber grill, using the Weber rotisserie, and we're gonna show you how to make the best rotisserie chicken. Okay, so here at Orison Giggy, we're going to rotisserie a whole chicken breast, a whole chicken. And what we've done is we've trussed the chicken so the legs, the wings, Everything is kind of tucked in into one really nice tender package. That'll create really good even turning, even roasting as it turns around on the spigot. To insert your rotisserie, you just put the pointy end into the motor. And on each end, there's a little round groove so that it'll slide and rotate easily. Then you can turn the motor on and off you go. I've kind of pre-marinated and pre-seasoned this chicken. So you want to, as it turns, you want to season it and doctor it up a little bit more. The more flavor you can get on the outside of that chicken and just roast, that flavor will sink into the meat and also give you the best tasting skin you've ever eaten. So just continue to sprinkle a little Chef Todd's pit seasoning you can buy here at Orson Giggy. All these pieces, the Weber grill, the uh, rotisserie uh, motor and, and uh, rod, you can all get right here at Orson Giggy. Then after you've seasoned this wonderful chicken, you want to take your mopping liquid and mop this chicken so that it has all that flavor. Get all of it down into the cavity. Just make, make a little chicken love right here. Oh, baby. Now notice on this grill for rotisserie on a big bird like this, it's going to take about an hour and a half. So if you had a grill that didn't go real low, you might burn the chicken. Only a Weber can go as low as it takes to get this chicken perfect. We'll see you in a while. 30 minutes, we'll check it again. Rotisserie chicken on the Weber grill here at Orson Giggy has been going now for 30 minutes. Look at the natural caramelization that's already occurring. Again, we're going to continue to mop and baste this chicken. It's continually just smoking and oozing its love all over. You can see that seasoning is, uh, stuck to that, that skin. The skin is creating a really nice flavor. Everything is working in our favor. This is going to be a delicious, delicious meal. But again, you want to keep it slow. And on the Weber, put it on the low setting, let the rotisserie do its job. Just continue to mop, get all that flavor locked into that skin. Wow. If that doesn't make you hungry, I don't know what will. Okay, we're into this about an hour and 20, an hour and 25 minutes our rotisserie chicken. Take a look. Again, look at the caramelization. The natural juices are still there, plentiful. It doesn't get better than that. That is a wonderful piece of meat. So you can just see how glistening. Now you can mop it again right now, or you can just take it off and carve it up. So first thing you want to do is turn off your motor. See how hot your your skewer is, use a towel if it's real hot. Just remove it simply as that. Bring it over to a safe spot. Okay. And usually what I'll do is I'll let this rest now. It's hit 160 degrees. It's going to carry over cook to about 165 is where you want to do it. If you cook it over 165, you are going to lose some of that precious juiciness that we all love. So I usually pull it about 165, especially a whole bird. So I'm going to let it rest just like that on, on this cutting board. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to cut the strings or nothing. I'm just going to let this rest now for a good five minutes. Now that the Weber rotisserie chicken from Oris and Giggy has rested sufficiently, what we want to do is take the strings and remove the prongs that hold the chicken together from, from the uh, rotisserie skewer. And you may want to lick this clean, but it's probably not the best thing. It's probably not too healthy. Presto, your bar comes out that easy. 
And then again, pull your, your back uh, forks off that hold the chicken in place. Those forks are uh, crucial in turning the chicken. Now you're ready to eat. When you go to carve this chicken, it's pretty simple. It's much like a turkey, but obviously smaller. So you can take the legs and thighs and simply remove those by pulling it apart and pulling it from the carcass. The breasts, you cut straight down the kill bone. Go through the first wing. You can see the juices on that meat. Perfectly cooked, succulent. And then remember, this, is go this was cooking for uh, one hour and 30 minutes on the on the rotisserie slow cook grill offered by Weber here at Orson Giggy. You do the other half the same way, then you can go ahead and carve that into pieces for the family, whatever you want. This is how we do it down at Orson Giggy, guys. You gotta make sure you come down and buy a Weber grill. It makes everything that much easier. We're now gonna enjoy this chicken. Thanks for tuning in.